What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review. Today, from Star Wars The Black Series, we're looking at the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Cad Bane with Toto 360. Super excited to have this exclusive version, which was very hard to get. It was very frustrating. Uh, thankfully, Jeremy, aka Jedi Hunter 83 hooked it up big time because I was at work and was not able to secure one myself. So thank you so much, Jeremy. Of course, this was also a European convention exclusive. So I know you guys over there got this a little bit ago. So let's not waste any more time. You can see on the front of the box here, it is just black. On the side, you have a picture of Cad Bane and Toto. And you can see the words right there. On the back, there's not a whole lot going on. On the side, not a whole lot. On the bottom, there's that. On the top, there's that so you go ahead and you pull this out and it doesn't actually come all the way out it's like secured in there a little bit but you can see the figure you can see his accessories you can see toto i love this white and yellow logo right there at the top and it says cad bane and toto 360 at the bottom they also have bios on the back there so go ahead and pause and read cad banes and then there is toto's so now that we've seen all of that, we're going to go ahead, we're going to open this guy up. We will take a look at the accessories and then the figure itself. Okay, and first up, you get both of Cad Bane's blasters, and they look absolutely wonderful. They've got some really nice silver paint on them with a little bit of black for the barrel, and then the grips have brown paint, and they look very nice. Then the exclusive part of this set is Toto 360. Of course, this is his little droid buddy who is voiced by Seth Green. And you can see he does have a little bit of articulation as well. I think he looks particularly awesome. Looks fairly accurate to the show. Got some nice yellow paint for the eyes. A little bit of black between the face there. Down around here, there's some more black paint. It's a little sloppy on the chest right there but overall he's pretty cool he's just a nice little droid character he's got a ball joint for the leg and then down by the foot as well and his arms are also a little ball joint so you can get them to move around and rotate around nothing at the elbow there and then of course his head is also on a ball joint there so you get tons of range he can exorcist oh and he has like a little swivel here at the uh waist so Strange looking little droid. I don't know how well he's gonna stand up. And look at that, he stands up just fine. So that's nice. So overall, Cad Bane comes with exactly what you need from him. Of course, the only difference between this version and the standard release that is coming up is the addition of Toto 360. So even if you just get the standard version, I'd say it's still worth it. I do wish we could have gotten some blast effects for his little rocket boots, but I guess at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world, but it still would have been nice. But I think these accessories are still good though. So now that we've taken a look at them, let's go ahead and take a look at the baddest bounty hunter in the galaxy himself, Cad Bane. He'll do any job if the price is right. Here's Cad Bane out of the packaging with Toto 360 and holy guacamole. Did Hasbro absolutely kill it with this figure? He looks like he literally just jumped off of the screen and into my little review station here. There's tons of great details on him, so I'm not really wanting to waste a whole lot of time. We're going to go ahead, get him off the stand. We'll take a closer look at those details. Here we go. You can see that this face is absolutely fantastic. I love the expression that they gave him. It's perfect for Cad Bane. It's a really nice scowl. The hat, of course, is removable, and it does also look very nice, and it has even a little bit of a, like a dry brushing effect to it on the front there. And of course, it just fits right on his head, no questions asked, and it's a nice soft plastic, so if he takes a shelf dive, the hat most likely will not snap. So that's a nice touch there. Really appreciate that, but we're going to go ahead and leave the hat off for a little bit so we can just take a closer look here at Cad himself. And you can see that he has really nice sculpt work all throughout his face. That red paint pops so hard against the blue. I love the way that that turned out. 
His little hose thingies here attached so that he can breathe wherever he wants. Also look very nice and it is like a floating piece connected to the head. And the tubes are removable, but I'm not going to do it just out of fear of not being able to put them back in. And moving down, you can take a look at his duster here, which does also have tons of great details. Lots of silver paint. The sculpting of the duster itself really makes it look like it is leather and it's a nice soft plastic so it's going to be pretty pliable for you he also has his bag right here which can be removed if you so choose i'm going to go ahead and leave it on though and then moving to his chest here just look at all this wonderful paintwork really great stuff here from hasbro love the bullet belts as well the costume just looks so awesome of course you've got his little gauntlets here with tons of buttons and doodads and whatnots and the silver paint looks great and he has some tubes running up into his arm and this side it is the exact same as well really excellent paint quality there like how accurate those details are turned out well of course he's got his gloved hands here which are both trigger fingers so maybe it would have been nice to also get some alternate hands, maybe some relaxed hands or something like that. But anyways, moving on through the details here, taking a look at his pants. Again, fantastic looking. Love like the wash that is over them. I think that looks very nice. The wrinkles are also excellent and it does sort of have like a, like a chap look to it. Like he's wearing riding chaps, which is dope. Then down on the feet here, he's got his little rocket boots, which unfortunately, I was thinking maybe you could do a little Iron Man effect piece in there, but they do not have holes in them, which is a little bit of a bummer. I mean, I think we should have gotten blast effects anyway, but it would have been nice if similarly like on the Mandalorian where you could plug those Iron Man effects in but you cannot plug them in on this guy. But overall, man, the details are just absolutely fantastic. He literally looks so accurate. Like he just jumped off the, the screen from the Clone Wars there. That expression says it all. He just looks so freaking BA. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look at how he moves. All right, so Cad Bane has the double neck so he can look up a pretty decent amount there not too much but he can look down pretty far and of course you can get the rotation on the neck there at the base and then at the head as well give him the exorcist and yeah so you can get a little bit of attitude out of that but the neck definitely gives you all that attitude you need the shoulders move out about that far and they of course rotate around he also does have butters so you can see the butterfly joints there and they work relatively well you have an upper swivel here at the elbow which is a single jointed elbow and it gives you a little bit more than 90 degrees which is great you also get a swivel at the elbow no gauntlet swivel but the hand does swivel and it has thankfully the vertical hinge and also has the vertical hinge on the other hand as well which whew, thank you hasbro thank you the character dual wields or uses a weapon they always should have this vertical joint. So thankfully he has two of them. So that is awesome. It's gonna make gunslinging poses really nice. As far as his ab crunch goes, you don't really get anything out of it. He definitely can move back a little bit, but going forward, that's not really a thing. But of course it does swivel right there as well. And you get some attitude out of it so you can get some side to side and whatnot. But going forward, pretty much not a thing so that is a little disappointing although i'm not particularly surprised with his other foot on the ground he can kick out about this far and he has this single jointed knee that gives you just about 90 degrees but it has that wonderful hidden joint look that i love so much that hasbro's been doing i love when you can't see the knee joints i think that just looks awesome very aesthetically pleasing cad's legs can go out about that far he can kick back about that far of course, he has the thigh swivel and the rocket boots also can swivel and his feet can go down really far. They can go up just a little bit. And of course, he does have ankle pivot. So overall, whew, man, this guy does have some really great articulation. He can definitely move. He definitely is a great modern example of what the Black Series can do, what it can look like, how they can move. So yeah. Cad Bane looks awesome. He has a really 
great range of movement there. So now with all that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and see how he scales with some other Star Wars figures. First up, here he is with the Black Series Dengar and Bosk. Then with the archive release of Boba Fett and the Beskar Armored Mandalorian. Then with the brand new 2020 Kamino clone and our favorite here on the channel, Stoner Episode 2 Obi-Wan. Then for some non-Black Series stuff, we have the Bandai Clone Trooper model kit and the brand new Diamond Select 7-inch scale Boba Fett. And last but certainly not least, the SH Figuarts Tank Pilot and the Mafex First Order Stormtrooper. So there you have it, folks. There is my review for the brand new Hascon exclusive Cad Bane figure from Star Wars The Clone Wars. I think Hasbro absolutely crushed this release. And if there is one figure that I think could sum up the Black Series in 2020, it would be this figure. There's been such great improvements to the line, and this figure shows off pretty much everything that the line has to offer. So I'm super happy to have this as a part of my collection. Thank you once again to Jeremy, aka Jedi Hunter, for hooking me up big time with this guy. I think even if you wanted to just get the standard release though, you'd be in for a great time. This figure is an absolute must have in the collection. So what did you guys think of this figure? Are you going to pick Cad Bane up or did you pass on him? Why, why not? Of course, if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Of course, I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.